Hello everyone, welcome to Suprema Connect 2020. My name is YJ and I'll be taking you through how to use Alpha Portal API. As many of you know, Alpha Portal is a cloud-based mobile access management service that is easily accessed from a PC or mobile environment. Alpha Portal API is a solution that helps you easily manage such management in the third-party programs. In this session, you will learn how to manage mobile access using the Alpha Portal API, not from the Alpha Portal platform, but from your own program or platform. So let's go ahead and get started. In the first part, we will see a brief structure of the Alpha Portal system. The second part, we are going to take a closer look for how the integrated system will be with a structure diagram and an example of BioStar 2 software. And in the third part, we will see how to call Alpha Portal API from an API development platform with uh, delivering a three minute demo video. The first part is uh, Alpha Portal API overview. There are two things you need when you integrate Alpha products with your system. One, Alpha Porter, the service which creates mobile car data and manages issue histories. Two, Alpha Path, the mobile application that communicates with Alpha products. The Alpha Porter communicates with the third party server based on RESTful API. It sends requests for card issue or card deletion. Alpha system basically ensures that mobile card data issued by a specific Alpha Porter site is recognized effectively on a designated device. To do this, the mobile card data will have additional values uh, called encryption and digital signature. Therefore, the third party server must go also through the process of opening a portal site and registering the device. After that, the registered device can finally recognize the mobile card data issued from the site. Part two. Integration system structure. The third party system can issue alpha pass by calling API through alpha portal. You can manage mobile card issue management from a combined client program. Basically, configurations and registering devices are equally required to make it happen. In other words, the over setting of the mobile card should be configured by opening Alpha Porter site and activating license. After then, the administrator can call API to issue and manage mobile cards from the third-party program. Let's take BioStar 2 software as an example. In this picture, BioStar 2 software is the third-party management server. As those of you who have used BioStar 2 software know, here's the mobile button on BioStar 2 screen. Pressing inward button means BioStar 2 calls an API, then Alpha Porter issues Alpha Pass, which is a mobile card. This method helps issue an Alpha Pass at a single point, which leads to a better management. Or let's assume you are having a separate program such as membership management services. It also can integrate with access control systems. In this case, you can make an Alpha Pass with the specified card ID by calling an API for mobile cards. While the program is sending the card ID to the access control server. 
This is the last part. Let's see three minutes demo video of Alpha Porter API. So let's log into the Alpha Porter. This is a fresh site. There is no users, as you can see. But please check your site ID because you will need it. Here's your site ID. Check out. Open your development tool. Well, I used Postman. Let's log in using API first. So here's a token. You want to copy the access token because you will need it from the next calls. So you have to copy and paste it. Otherwise, you cannot call other APIs. So I'm going to issue a mobile card. Don't forget to write your site card in the URL. OK, success. Now go back to the portal and let's see if the card is created. Login. Card number checked. OK. Now uh, go back to the API and let's remove the card. Before, you must log in again because Alpha Porter only allows a single session at the same time. Okay, let's call deleting card API. Okay, there is a success. Let's go back to the porter and see if the card is deleted. So there's no users anymore. Well, this is all I have for today. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of Suprema Connect 2020. Thank you.